Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De. Welcome to third video of NEET PG 21 recall question discussion session. So this is third video starting from question number 21. A patient is diagnosed with hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer or HNPCC and the question asked was this cancer hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer occurs due to which pathway defect which DNA repair pathway defect so the answer is mismatch repair so the hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer occurs due to defect in mismatch repair of DNA so what are the other DNA defects nucleotide excision repair defect can cause xeroderma pigmentosa xeroderma pigmentosa in this disease there is increased chances of cancer there is photosensitivity and increased chances of skin cancer cocaine syndrome or trichothiodystrophy these are defects of nucleotide excision repair double strand break repair defect can cause ataxia telangiectasia and Interstand cross link repair defect can cause Fanconi anemia. So, these are the DNA repair defect, very important for competitive exam. Next question number 22 Patient presents with mediastinal mass was diagnosed with pure red cell aplasia. So, a patient presented with mediastinal mass diagnosed with pure red cell aplasia. So most common cause of aplasia or most common cause of aplasia most probable this mediastinal mass cause of this aplasia is thymic neoplasm. So thymic neoplasm is the most common mediastinal mass that is associated with pure red cell aplasia. Pure red cell aplasia can be caused by B19 parvovirus parvovirus b19 so this can cause pure red cell aplasia this cause erythema infectiosum and pure red cell erythema infectiosum in children also called fib disease so pure red cell aplasia caused by parvovirus b19 this erythema infectiosum is identified by slap cheek appearance in children slapped cheek appearance in children erythema infectiosum or fib disease sometimes aplastic crisis also can cause pure red cell aplasia neoplasm thymoma as i told you before thymoma can cause pure red cell aplasia some connective tissue disorder and one congenital disorder that is black fan diamond syndrome can also cause pure red cell aplasia so the answer is thymic neoplasm next question is Pasmere test of a reproductive age group female is showing nuclear hyperchromasia, pleomorphism, prominent nucleoli, low maturation index involving almost all thickness. So, this is features of nothing but dysplasia. So, this is features of dysplasia on pasmere. So, this is called dysplasia. As you all know, suppose this is epithelium this is epithelium this is base pen membrane and this is epi epithelium this this part is epithelium is only one third is involved then it is called cin1 in case of carcinoma in situ 1 in pap smear if two third is involved up to this region then it is called cin2 if more than two third near about almost it is called cin3 and if whole the thickness is involved without invasion of basement membrane, if the basement membrane is intact and this whole thickness is involved, then it is called carcinoma in situ. So, these are the dysplastic changes of carcinoma, dysplastic changes of carcinoma. So, this is dysplasia. Okay. Next question, 24, a 34-year old woman presented with fever, migratory polyarthritis of large lower joint. Next, increased CRP, increased ESR and 
along with pansystolic murmur pansystolic murmur uh, on eco mr is diagnosed so what is the diagnosis fever migratory arthralgia crp and increase are minor criteria of rheumatic fever so these are the criteria for rheumatic fever and mr is one of the complication of rheumatic fever acute rheumatic fever mr is this mr is actually most common valvular disorder most common valvular disorder following acute rheumatic fever in chronic cases mitral stenosis is more common in acute cases mr or mitral regurgitation is common so this is nothing but diagnosis is rhd rhd means rheumatic heart disease and on biopsy rheumatic heart disease show this feature this is called ash of body so the answer of this question will be ash of body so ash of body is the answer for this question so the question asked to us the biopsy shows what this ash of body ash of body see their presence of lymphocyte plasma cell some cell caterpillar cell some cells with ov nucleus that's are called caterpillar cells so this is ash of body seen in heart muscles in case of rheumatic heart disease next a 25 year old female using contact lens this history is important contact lens presented with the following eye features see the eye features there is presence of large papilla large papilla in palp upper palpebral conjunctiva in upper palpebral conjunctiva there is presence of large papilla large sizes papilla this is called giant papillary conjunctiva gpc so the diagnosis is giant papillary conjunctivitis very common in patients with contact lens user contact this is common in patients for using contact lens so this is giant papillary conjunctivitis coming to question number 26 a 60 year old male patient has complaints of chronic fatigue he has anemia and massive splenomegaly this point is important elderly patient with massive splenomegaly anemia hemoglobin 9 means anemia tlc is raised hemoglobin decreased platelets is also raised then there is neutrophil basophil basophilia is there eosinophil myeloblast is there only 3% promyelocyte band form so there is elderly patient massive splenomegaly anemia leukocytosis thrombocytosis with promyelocytic myelocytic bulge this is nothing but cml chronic myeloid leukemia so the diagnosis is chronic myeloid leukemia so the question was what is the most specific further investigation for this case so this is a case of chronic myeloid leukemia what is the most specific test that is the detection of philadelphia chromosome detection of philadelphia chromosome philadelphia chromosome as you all know balanced translocation t922 so how will you detect this was today's and question answer that is either fish means fluorescence in situ hybridization or pcr so this will be the answer of today's question fluorescence in situ hybridization or pcr to detect chromosomal abnormalities this is the most specific investigation for this disease next question was a 6 year old boy is presented with complaints of decreased vision vision is decreased in dim light this is called nothing but nyctalopia or night blindness nyctalopia or night blindness means dimness of vision in low lights nyctalopia or night blindness he has conjunctival hyperkeratosis or this result in xerosis of conjunctiva and thinning on softening of cornea this is keratomalacia 
so conjunctival xerosis keratomalacia nyctalopia this this are the features of nothing but xeropthalmia xeropthalmia so this is caused by which vitamin deficiency as you all know vitamin a a deficiency so xerophthalmia is caused by vitamin a deficiency the question asked was which substance deficiency cause this feature was vitamin a deficiency option was not there another name of vitamin a deficiency was there that is retinoic acid so retinoic acid deficiency can cause features of xerophthalmia stages of xerophthalmia निक्टेलोपिया X N X one A कंजंक्टिवल जीरो सिक्स X one B इस बीटोट स्पॉट X two इस कॉर्नियल जीरो सिक्स X three A इस केराटोमेलिशिया और कॉर्नियल अलसर लेस देन वन थर्ड ऑफ कॉर्निया X three B इस केराटोमेलिशिया और कॉर्नियल अलसर सर मोर देन वन थर्ड X X इस कॉर्नियल स्कार एंड X F इस जीरोप्थलमिक फंडस सो दिस इस WHO staging of xerophthalmia. Next question was, what is the poor prognosis of multiple myeloma? This beta 2 microglobulin is considered as one of the poor prognostic factor of multiple myeloma. If it rises, it denotes poor prognosis for multiple myeloma. So most important poor prognostic is beta 2 microglobulin. Next question number 29. All are increased in iron deficiency anemia except. So see the options. TIBC is TIBC increase in iron deficiency anemia? Yes. TIBC increase in iron deficiency anemia. Is transferrin receptor increased? Yes. Increase. Is protoporphyrin protoporphyrin increase? Yes. So which one was the answer except? except transferrin so transferrin saturation decreases in iron deficiency anemia so this was the answer transferrin saturation saturation so what is the biochemical abnormalities of iron deficiency anemia serum iron reduced in iron deficiency anemia serum ferritin also reduced in iron deficiency anemia transferrin saturation also reduced in iron deficiency anemia but this tibc increase in iron deficiency anemia and other things increase are soluble transferrin receptor and protoporphyrin but today's question answer will be this transferrin saturation this is decrease in iron deficiency anemia and the last question of third session a 24 year old adult male has complaints of morning stiffness this is important morning stiffness reddening of eye X-ray of LS spine given. This X-ray is showing. See the presence of this sign. What is this sign? This is nothing but dagger sign. Dagger sign is found in which rheumatological condition? Dagger sign is found in which rheumatological condition? AS or ankylosing spondylitis. So this is nothing but diagnosis is. Ankylosing spondylitis with dagger sign. Morning stiffness typical presentation. This reddening of of eye may be due to extra articular features of ankylosing spondylitis like what? Anterior uveitis is one of the common extra articular features of ankylosing spondylitis. Lumbar spine showing dagger sign. And in lateral X-ray, in lateral view X-ray. you will find what bamboo spine so another features of ankylosing spondylitis in lateral extra bamboo spine and straightening of lumbar vertebra or loss of lumbar curvature straight straightening of lumbar vertebrae or loss of lumbar curvature along with bamboo spine on lateral x ray and on anterior posterior x ray ap x ray this features dagger sign so this is ankylosing spondylitis so in our next video we will discuss question number 31 to 40 stay tuned for the next video don't forget to subscribe my channel dr shankar de for more videos on neat pg recall question stay tuned thank you very much for watching